Hello, my crafty friends, and Merry Christmas. I wanted to come on today uh, just to uh, share with you uh, my first project um, to in participating in the uh, hashtag Saturday Morning Makes. I have been watching you guys, and there have been some really extraordinary projects that have uh, have been created. And the Saturday Morning Makes, it's uh, hosted by Jill Norwood, and you guys know uh, Jill. She's a sweet lady. And I just wanted to be able to participate myself Um and I just wanted to share uh, some ideas that I, I, you know, had been playing around with. And it's using my memory decks um, cards, uh, and or uh, dies, I should say. And so, I just want to share with you for uh, the Saturday Morning Makes uh, Recipe Memory Decks Cards. And this box right here is just one thing that I made. It was a silhouette file. And I open it up. And I love this box. It is so adorable. And inside, I have made these adorable memory decks recipe book cards and I just love them love them love them love them and I'm going to zoom out here that's one and I use my dies my um Sizzik dies here these are the little wooden um gingerbreads that um, I think I got from Dollar Tree and then this is a, a rolling pin die that I have uh, KS craft and then a little bow die that I have here and then of course you guys know those are the tags uh, that Jill uh, had featured and so I went to the um, Etsy um, site and I don't have the information in front of me right now but uh, I'll put it in the um, in the comment description box but I did download that and I just wanted to add those on there and I think that is just adorable and I'm going to show you the dies that I use to create this and then this is the back. And I use another one of the the little um, tags. Gingerbread goes. It says gingerbread and every, oh, gingerbread spice and everything nice. That's what Christmas is made of. The font is so tiny. So, yeah, there it is. And then I have a snowflake die that, um, a Sizzik die, I believe that's one, and I use that. And then I have these little heart um, paper clips, and then some little ribbon here. But that's one. And then I made two of these, but they're just a little bit different. And these have the Christmas casserole cookie recipe on there. And I just love it. And I did the same thing with the rolling pin. But this one I used uh, some little uh, evergreen, the little um, poinsettia little die that I have. And the little um, holly berries. And then the... Um, Oh, I thought I had that one glued down. The same little um, bow. And then this is a die that I have of a reindeer. 
And I had cut several out. Uh, and I have them in my stash. So I thought that that would look good on there. So that's the little reindeer. And then on the back... That one has another one of the tags. And then this is the memory dex uh, card itself. And then here's another one. This, the only thing different in this one is I didn't put the cookie, the little cutout cookies here. And then this one I really flourished. I have another little tag there and a little wooden gingerbread. And then this one is a, a die that I have that cuts out the uh, the little berries and the little leaves. And then I did the same thing with the bow and then a little ribbon. And then that's just the back. So what I did to create these, and I'll show you the dies. I used first this is the um, this is the Sizzik die the cookie and you see that and these are so neat so that was to make the cookies and actually let me back up that yeah, this right here, the snowflake, my mistake, it was, it came out of this one. So I used that, the you know, the negative of that, and then, yeah, I, I thought that was a separate die, but it was actually the negative of that. So I stand corrected on this one. So that's how that came about. So... Yeah, these are really cute, too. I love using my brown and my cream papers to make them look like little gingerbread cookies. And then, to get the book, and I'll, I'll show you this one. To get this book like this, I use this die right here. And I've had this in my stash for quite a while. And so this is in different nesting sizes. And then on the back, there's the little tiny ones as well. So that was what I used. I used the three different sizes so that I can make it look more dimensional. And I popped it up on some pop dots on there just so that I can kind of give it that raised look. And then... The rolling pin die is this one. So that was K KNS Crafts. And I cut out some extra pieces here. The way I can show you how I did, uh, how I made the, uh, the memory decks. So again, I used my memory decks. Um, let me grab that okay so I was looking for my memory decks um, dies that I had and I found the two this one I used and then I used this one and so for the back so I cut that one out like that and then for this one, yeah, for this one, I use this die. So what I did, I left a little pocket opening so that um, another type of, you know, little card could probably be slid in, in behind another little piece of recipe. But that's how that happened. So... To get the the rolling pin to cut out, um, I actually took the rolling pin after I cut it, and then I just laid it like that. 
laid it on the die. Now what I did to make sure that I didn't get it to cut out, I actually I took the little handles and I flipped them over the die. So when I ran it through the die cutter, all it would do is just cut out these little sections, the little holes. So that's just a little uh, trick there that I learned how to do. And so that's how, you know, I was able to get that to line up like that. And then I did a different one and I just took a rolling pin and then I cut cut one out like for this one I distressed that one but I did cut one out in the brown so that I could get the little handles so all I did was just cut the little um, handles off and glued them on to this one and so that's how I was able to get this little rolling pin um, effect and I took my uh, distress uh, oxide this one and that's how I was able to get that effect so I just did lightly at the top left a little bit of highlight in the middle and then layered it on the bottom and I did the same thing you know just touched around the cookies and then actually then around the book the pages themselves so I really really had fun um, creating these little cards and I want to do more um, what I did was uh, this recipe these recipes actually came from an old um, cookbook that I, I got uh, one of the old junior league cookbooks and so I just uh, made a copy I found the recipe for the Christmas casserole cookie and then one for this one was called gingerbread boys and so um, I just made copies of those and then I just put the page die the smallest one over top of the page and I just cut that out like that and then I did the same with the next size and then the next size and then cut out in the back so I cut this out the memory decks portion uh, in the same manner like I was um, telling you about how I did for this using this die and then for this one though I didn't uh, do the rolling pin I just um, popped it up on some pop dots and just uh, raised it up a little bit higher but for these um, I did do that and so you can see the back like that so I love the way these turned out I think they're so precious and you can do a lot of cards like this uh, to preserve you know recipes you can just even cut out on um, like index cards just blank index cards and you can handwrite it if you choose to that's an idea um, but these weren't, you know, actually meant to be used uh, because I covered up a lot of the, um, the information here. So it was just, you know, for, um, just for decoration, but I just thought that they, they just look so vintage and I like the way, like this gold at the bottom I used my painter's pen in gold and I colored that in and then I went around the edges of the pages 
just to make it look real old. And these, these pages are actually flat, but I curl the ends to make them look like, you know, they've been worn. Um, this one, however, I did just sort of um, pop it up. I kind of gave it an arch like that so that it could actually look like it was a page, you know, that you could lift up and turn the page. So I really like the way these turned out. So again, this is my first time participating in the Saturday Morning Makes. And I was, you know, wanting to do this before, but I just couldn't think of what I, you know, what I could do as far as a project. And then uh, when I went through my stash and I found, you know, all the, the dyes that I, I know that I have that I, I need to use, I just sort of like, oh, okay, that would be good because I love recipes and I like making dimensional uh, memory decks cards. And so I did, it just sort of came together, but I really love it. So thank you for joining me today, and I hope you like what I've created. And if you did, give me a thumbs up if you like. And if you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you join me and Hit the notification bell so that you can see when another video will be coming up in the future. So with that, everyone take care and stay well. And again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.